Good morning, it's Sunday. I've uploaded my vlog. It's up, it's ready to go, you can watch it. And I'm kind of just doing cleaning and that kind of stuff. I don't know what I'm really doing today. But I made my lunch for two days the other day, but I still had one left. So I'm gonna actually eat that today. And then tomorrow I'm going to bring that Trader Joe's Mexican bowl with chicken to work because I made it here one day and since we don't have a microwave, I put it in the oven and it takes like 40 minutes in the oven as opposed to four and a half minutes in a microwave. So that's better suited for work. So I'm having my normal lunch here and I finally bit the bullet and bought myself the North Face jacket that I wanted and I got it on a website like Bear Claw or Bear Country talking about bears um, and there was 8% cash back on eBay so essentially I got the tax back plus they were offering 15% off for first time customers so I'd say it was a pretty good deal and it was free shipping and it should get here in two to three days I will show you when it comes in I'm excited I ended up getting black because so I have my green coat I have a gray coat I have a black puffer coat but it's short this one's going to be longer and I have a black like raincoat, but I feel like winter coat, I should have black. It will go with everything. So yeah, for now I'm going to eat my lunch. Have I mentioned how much I hate hand washing things? Because I do. I've had this pile here of four items, I guess. And there's a few more in my room that need to be washed. And I don't know that any of them are actually hand wash only, but they're like delicate materials or they have decals on the sleeves or something and I just don't want to ruin it. So I'm trying to be good, but they've been sitting there forever to be hand washed. So now it's time. You can't hand wash a million things at once, especially if you're not going to put them in the dryer because where are you going to hang them? All over your house. So I'm finally going to do that right now. Sheets are in the wash. I'm going to clean my room a little bit as usual, this once a week thing. And then today's turning out to be like a do-nothing day because not that there's something I don't need to do. Not that there, what am I saying? Not that there's things I don't need to do. What am I saying? There's probably things that I need to do, but I don't feel like going out necessarily. So I've gotten dressed and I may go out, but I also may not. In getting ready today, I did straighten my hair. So I washed it last night and instead of curling it today, I decided to straighten it today and hopefully the curl will still hold when I do it tomorrow because if I curled it today, it would have been a waste of time because again, I'm probably not going anywhere. But also it gets a little crunchy with the hairspray I put in it, which I got a, where is it? A sample or just like a travel size of the Big Sexy Hair Stay In Spray. I do really like this. It's not super crunchy, but you know what I mean. There's product in your hair. So I didn't want to do that two days in a row and I'm washing my sheets and things. So I didn't want to have product all over my pillows. Anyway, so I just straightened it today. I still like it straight. Um, it's getting really long again. And what is all over my sweater? What is this? Is this? detergent I, I don't know what's going on so another reason why I don't like to hand wash things uh, I use Woolite the cold water one which you should probably wash your clothes in cold water anyway but it's super cold like my hands are frozen so I'm just complaining whatever it's fine and yeah just wanted to tell you that I straightened my hair like honestly if anyone has suggestions on how to hand wash clothes more efficiently how can a shirt say or a sweater don't ring don't ring out to dry do you know how much it absorbs the water like you have to wring it to dry and lay flat like it's on the hanger I ridiculous that's done all done it's drying now time to tackle the room uh, a little more I still got to get rid of more stuff guys I really do I think I want to watch more of the KonMari method. They should have called it that, but tidying up on Netflix to get me re-inspired again. Also, what do you think about this wall here? This blank wall. So I have art here, art there obviously, and here. But this 
And look at that. That's where I tried to spackle. Didn't come out too well. Anyway, maybe I'll put it there. I had this before I had my wall art above my bed. I had that and I love it. It's different tones of white and gray and even a little like rustic gold. And I think it just goes perfectly in there and you could put it anyway if you want vertical or horizontal lines. But it was above my bed and now this is above my bed. So I kind of want something there. That wall is terribly blank, but I just don't know if I really do or where I would put it in the middle of the wall or to cover that or over toward there. I'm not sure, but I think that needs to go back up on the wall. So I'll decide that at some point later. I ended up watching some YouTube videos, not the KonMari show, but I'm just so tired, so freaking tired. And I'm also a little hungry. It's only like 3.30. I had egg and avocado toast this morning for breakfast. I know, I didn't show you, so did I really have it? I don't know. And then I had, what did I have for lunch? Did I eat lunch? Did I show you what I ate for lunch? I honestly don't remember. But anyway, I'm kind of hungry. So, I bought these frozen acai packets at Trader Joe's. I'm going to have like a smoothie bowl type thing. We'll see what kind of other frozen things we have that I can throw in there. And I think we have almond milk somewhere in here, hopefully. Yep, I see it. And that's what we're going to have right now. That acai packet took like 20 minutes to open. Anyway, I'm going to put in a Vital Proteins pack. I got this in Target in the little, if your Target's been done over with the beauty section, it's in the travel kind of grab and go aisle to try. So I've seen a million and one people eating this stuff every day. I'm not going to start incorporating it every day. I don't believe. I'm actually a little trepidatious on putting this in here it's supposed this is the unflavored one i also had bought the lavender lemon one and this is beauty collagen this is collagen peptides i would recommend doing your homework not really doing my homework but it seems like good stuff it's grass-fed pasture raised it's good for your hair skin and nails there's collagen in it i don't know what else collagen would be in again i'm not the best person to ask about this it says to mix it in water. I see a lot of people making coffee with it, just putting it in their coffee. But I'm gonna put it in here and we'll see what the texture is like. I put in a banana, the acai packet, chia seed, flax seed, and then the almond milk, a little water. I'm going to sprinkle it with walnuts, dried cranberries, and probably coconut as well. That's what it looks like now. Just kidding about the bowl because I put too much liquid in. Had I known I did that wrong, I probably would have put other stuff in the smoothie. Anyway, it tastes pretty good. I did mix the collagen in water first, and I tasted it too. It's definitely not flavored, but it doesn't taste like water. Like, it tastes like there's something in your water. But why not try something new? Smoothie it is. I'm sitting here watching more YouTube. I'm currently watching Jarusha, and she's unboxing a new Hermes bag, which brings me to a point I wanna discuss. I don't know what the lighting is, but let's do this just in case. So this month I've already spent a lot of money, but I've spent money on an experience. So I mentioned that I'm going to Montreal with my parents for one day. We're going to a hockey game, NHL hockey game, to see the Canadians and it's gonna be epic. We've never been to Montreal, I'm super excited, but even though I spent a lot of money and like this coat to prepare for like the cold temperatures, I haven't bought mindless shit. Like I haven't even been to Target in a while, which again, I love Target to death, my number one love, but like the dollar spot stuff, or I just actually browsed Old Navy because someone I follow on Instagram was posting a couple cute things and they were having like their big clearance sale. And I added a couple things to my bag and then I'm like, no, I don't know if they fit. I'm going to have to pay shipping even though it's a good sale. I don't want to go back to the store. I do better shopping in store when I can try stuff on. Then I was looking at um, stuff from Athleta because I've been watching 
uh, that girl, Krista, that I mentioned last time, she, I think she works with like outdoor voices. So she has a ton of their stuff. And I was looking on their website. They were having a sale. Then I was looking at Athleta. Everyone talks about Lululemon. I don't really like Lululemon. I don't have any of their stuff though. So maybe I'll feel differently when I do, but I just feel intimidated when I go in that store. So I don't. Anyway, my point of that spiel being I'd like to spend my money a little wiser. I'm not going to say I'm not shopping. I'm not going to say I'm not spending money, but now with a car payment, now with insurance, which are things that I paid for bef previously, but they didn't come out of my account. I just paid my parents. It's different. So I want to be mindful of what I'm buying and I don't want to buy more materialistic items, even though I still love shopping and I will buy more stuff. I'd prefer to buy experiences and invest my money in investment items, whether that's a purse, whether that's a coat, whether that's um, tickets to something, you know what I mean? Something that holds more value than just buying a sweater. So I'm going to try to do that this year. I'm not doing, you know, like I said, I'm not going to tell myself I can't shop, but I'm going to be more mindful of it. If you want to join me, I would appreciate some help for sure. But little things, even like me curling my hair, like I got a curling iron for Christmas. I'm going to actually use it. Um, I have a ton of makeup, like let me shop my collection. I'm getting rid of clothes. Let me enjoy the stuff that I do have. So just changing my mindset a bit. I've been notified that my dad has <laughs> started the Marie Kondo method. We just watched one of the episodes. <laughs> what happened, Donna? It's because I started it in the bathroom. What did you do? Holy cow, Holy Kondo, make it. Oh, yeah. She's not in the end. Oh, baby. Oh. Hmm. Great. Great job. He started it with a dirty towel. Hmm. Come here, Oh, you're supposed to do it with clean towels, you jerk. Jam. Mom, this towel is soaking wet. Because I hand wash clothes. He's trying to do a tutorial on how to fold things. No, this is this is the way I was taught to fold towels. And I would fold it like this. And yep, I put it on the put floor, the, put the clean towel on the floor. It. Yep. Put the towel away. But when I got married, I was told every time I fold that way, I would get yelled at. So I have to fold them this other way. the way my mother-in-law folded them, and they do look pretty, but they're two towels, they're both folded. Okay, how does the Comrie method? Comrie. Comrie method, okay. Fold it in half, then kind of in half again, and then you do the, like you're on a roller coaster. Roll and roll and roll and roll. Roll, 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 roll. Good morning. It's Monday. I'm running late. It's freezing outside. Uh, I set my alarm for like quarter to six because I wanted to get up and get ready. Uh, it went off. I snoozed it. The next one went off, snoozed it, and then I woke up on my own at seven. So that's why I'm running late. So no curls today. We're going with straight. I'm wearing black and white. I was going to wear a different shirt, but these pants are so annoying. They don't have belt loops. And the outfit kind of required the belt. I don't love this, but I have to go. And I have to remember to put earrings in, so let me do that before I forget. Good evening, I just got home from work. I'm having some pepperoni and cheese, turkey pepperoni, and pepper jack cheese, a little sandwich. Uh, I am frozen, like legit frozen. There's something wrong with the heat at work in certain parts of the building and it is literally pushing out cold air and we've been trying to get it fixed for probably two weeks and they're finally coming to look at it tonight so hopefully tomorrow when I sit at the desk I won't be an icicle like my feet and my fingers and my hands and my nose are absolutely frozen so I think what I'm going to do is my parents are out they're going to grab Wendy's for dinner. It looks like this is a week where we're going to eat a lot of fast food. doesn't happen a lot, but 
We had pizza last night. Anyway, they're gonna grab that. So I think I'm going to shower now that way because I wanna put like comfy clothes on. And if I do that before I shower, I'll never want to get up off the couch. So I think I'm gonna do that. Canadians are on tonight and I'm excited because they're playing the Bruins. Yeah, I know, like, I'm a hockey fan now, guys. Just get over it. What am I going to do? The Yankees, I haven't followed the Yankees as closely as I used to. I don't know why, but obviously this is off season. I don't really follow preseason spring training stuff. So I've decided to pick up hockey, and the Canadians and the Bruins are, like, fighting for wild card status and points and things. I'm still not great at it. Who am I kidding? Anywho, I'm excited to watch that because it's actually on TV tonight. NBC Sports, but let me eat some more of this and take my shower. Before I get out of my work outfit, I wanted to show you what I wore, which was just black and white. But this long sleeve shirt, just basic white tee, um, my mom got for me for Christmas and I love it. And I think she got it at like Sam's Club or BJ's. It's Eddie Bauer brand, but you can see like, I think it's just super flattering the way it fits. It's not like a high-low. Um, it's, I don't know, the cut, it does go a little bit lower in the front. But it's a V-neck, but it's not super low. And I wanted more long sleeve shirts just to wear under things um, as a basic. Again, I wore this to work, but I would wear this under sweaters and stuff. Let me tell you, it's such a soft, soft, comfortable material. So if you're at Sam's or BJ's and you can find this Eddie Bauer, I love it. She got me another one in a different color, but to have a white basic shirt, you should try to get this. Hello, I just got home. I got back from the gym. Didn't want to go. Did not want to go to the gym, but I did. Went right after work. There wasn't that much traffic today either. I don't know why. And then I just stopped at Trader Joe's. I want to show you a couple things that I got. And yeah, so let's get inside. I got the usual suspects for salad, but I saw a new item, so I decided to try this dressing, which is new, organic toasted sesame dressing. And then every now and then I pick this up too, if they have it, which is very good. The Green Goddess salad dressing. I feel like avocado and lemon. And then, so these, how can these not be good? Oh, upside down. Sunflower seed buttercup dark chocolate. So good. And what else? This is the only flavor they had, and I haven't had these in a while. I don't think I've ever tried the dark chocolate almond, but when I'm running late, this is a good breakfast for sure. And the last time I went, they didn't have Pink Lady, so I love this at night. So I got a couple of those. Good morning. It's, what day is it? Wednesday. Um, I'm trying this weird setup here. Actually, let's turn this on. It's gonna blind me. Where is it? Whoa! Um, yeah, I woke up kind of on time today, so we're gonna try this wonky setup. Just something to do. So I just put my moisturizer on, letting it sink in a little bit. <sighs> I wanted to tell you, yesterday I pulled out two gray hairs for my head, like, in here so not right here but I get my hair colored like twice a year maybe and I get it cut three times a year maybe I just it's not something I do as often as I should and when I get it colored I don't get like it's permanent color but it's a glaze it's not like harsh color because I don't have a ton of grays but you've all seen my dad and he's been that gray most of my life so it's coming and right like around here where you kind of typically get the gray I get very like it gets light but it's not gray um, and the reason I get it colored is because I want a more rich even tone I get very brassy in my hair and it needs to be toned so anywho we're gonna do my makeup and perhaps this light would be like really good for my makeup or it could be really bad I don't know so we're gonna use makeup forever HD foundation I should probably take this off. Still, this thing still hasn't been washed. Still hasn't been washed. So, that's lovely, lovely. All right, let's see. So, 
I do a few pumps of that on the inner palm of my hand, which I know is weird, but I used to do it. And then two pumps of my balancing cream moisturizer just to even it out a little bit. Not even it out, sheer it out because I don't need a full coverage. I just want to even my skin tone uh, and I need more moisture. My skin is so dry lately uh, and I still have this situation going on as you can definitely see now. Um, yeah, so I do it on the inner palm because I used to do it on the back side of my hand and it got so dry from washing it all the time. So then I use this brush, it's number 55 from Sephora. I don't know if Sephora is still selling this kind of stuff. I went in there to get like tweezers the other day and no, yeah, tweezers and they didn't even have them. And they don't have their nail section anymore. So I don't know what they're doing, but I think it's because they want like cooler brands. I don't know if they're gonna phase out the Sephora brand completely. I hope not, cause I always use <clears throat> this to clean my makeup brushes <clears throat> I swear by it because I don't clean my brushes as often as I should so I spot clean uh, as every single day when I use them so what else is going on last night I went and got gas before I went to Trader Joe's and after the gym and I was like a little under half and we're supposed to get a snowstorm this week this weekend in a couple days which it might be crazy going to Canada, but here we go. So anyway, I got gas and I'm definitely using more gas because I have to start my car in the morning. Well, I don't have to, but I do. Uh, so I, yesterday I started a little too early because it shut off on its own. So it must've been like 10, 15 minute threshold. Anyway, I was getting in my car and I heard someone say, excuse me. And I looked in the back and it was this woman and she's like, oh, honey, my phone died and I'm trying to get a hold of my husband. I just got back from a trip or something and it's right near the airport. So that's a good story. And she's like, you can dial the number on your own. And I'm thinking, are these people like, she was an older woman, but that's like a serious con. Like that could have gone real bad. But we called her husband and he said he was going to come meet her at some place, but it was very odd. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> do I, shouldn't I do this? She's showing me her phone. It died. It stopped working. It didn't die. The service didn't work. But I would be cautious when doing things like that. But yeah, it got gas. It definitely is more expensive to get gas in the Jeep than a Civic. I knew that would be. But it doesn't help that I'm starting it all the time in the morning using more gas. But I don't mind. I love the car a lot. So, I don't know if I like this light when I'm doing my makeup, because it doesn't look, um, I don't know, it looks alright, whatever. So obviously I have more redness around this section of my face. So go in with a little extra for that. And then, uh, let's see. <clears throat> so... I'm going to Canada next week. The game's on Wednesday. Um, we're coming home Thursday. So I'm taking off Wednesday and Thursday as my usual days off, which means tomorrow is my only day off until the game next Wednesday. And it sucks because I have so much to do tomorrow. But what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that I always use. I find that I have to use a lot, but... The more you use, the more cakey it is, so I do my best. But uh, let me continue to do this, and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. All right, makeup is done, and I washed my hair last night and blow-dried it straight. I don't use a round brush or anything. I just rough-dried it, I guess, but this is how it came out. So pretty straight, but the ends are a little wonky, so although it's only 8.30... I'm going to just run the straightener through it. I want to curl my hair tomorrow. I have so much going on. And I'm supposed to go to my friend's house after my dreadful work meeting that we're all anticipating the absolute worst. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get a chance to have fun and not think about things after that. But speaking of work, I have some, I have a few 
uh, regulars that I love. Some of them I know their names, some of them I just know their order. Uh, they know me, obviously I wear a name tag, but they're the cutest. They're all older people, but this one couple in particular, um, they've been married for 50 years, and for Christmas, she got me, well they got me, a cute little coffee mug. Did I show you on a vlog already? I don't know, it was a snowman coffee mug from Target. Just filled with candy. It was the cutest thing. So I got them a little card and she gave me a card to say thank you. And it says she appreciates my kindness. Who in the family is watching this? I'm kind. Like, I know it's a running joke, but that word keeps following me around. So I am kind. Anyway, uh, so just going to run the straightener through today. My point about the gray hair is that in the last year, I think I've pulled more gray hairs from my head than in the last 20, almost 8 years of my life, so that's not good. Uh, I will be 28 in March, which is... how? Like, it's really crazy. It's really, really crazy. Alright, I'm going to finish this, show you my outfit, and then hopefully be on time for work. Just kidding about showing you my outfit. Uh, I ran out of the house without my earrings in, so I had to grab those real quick. I wear these literally every day. Nine and a half out of 10, uh, I wear them. They're my Stella and Dot $19 earrings. I need to get another pair before they like discontinue them. But I do wanna show you while I'm in my car. So I have these cup holders, right? And it fits this just barely, my Starbucks tumbler. It's very small in there and you can't adjust it. My Civic had kind of adjuster ones. So my friend bought me this, which goes in the cup holder and it makes it wider. So now, Pam, I can put my big tumbler that has a wide bottom in my cup holder. I don't know what this is called. You can buy it on Amazon, but it's genius. It's genius. And this, with the opening there, uh, you can even put like an actual coffee cup and the part where you hold it would stick out there. It's just, it's not the best because it's elevated, so it, it's still like wobbly, but it makes me so happy because I bring that cup to work. So I love that new feature and off to work I go. And I keep saying and. I'm gonna try to go to my seven o'clock uh, class tonight at the gym because I can't go Thursday night and next week's gonna be kind of a shit show too. So I wanna go at least twice a week. So tonight at seven o'clock would be the class to go to. Let's go to work. So I decided not to go to the gym tonight. Wasn't really feeling good and I don't wanna push it and I don't like eating right before I go to the gym. So there's not enough time in between. Anyway, I got two packages I wanna show you. Uh, one from Ulta. I think it's just the Kate Somerville exfoliate. Yep. It was half off. So I've always purchased this from Sephora and I get the mini size and I've purchased it twice. And I think the mini one's like 20 bucks. This is a full size at two fluid ounces. This, this thing's usually $80. Like, no, I do love it. It's a two minute facial. It's a chemical exfoliant. Um, it's kind of abrasive though too. There's a little bit of um, stuff in there, but it tingles, it really does. But I like it every now and then, so I decided to scoop it up while I could. And then the best thing is I got my coat. So hopefully this works out because we're about to get a huge storm. And obviously for Canada, so let's see. All right, let's see what this looks like. Here is the coat. Uh, it's definitely not flattering. Definitely warm and thick. I got a size small and I'm wearing a hoodie underneath it and I feel like <laughs> really confined. Uh, it's long in the back. There's a detachable hood, which is already detached a little on this side when I was taking out of the packaging. Um, what is it called? Standard fit Arctic Parka 2. 
Uh, I did not pay that. I got a deal. But I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't love it. I don't love it. This goes really high to protect you from the wind. Um, it just isn't doing anything. It's not doing anything for me. I don't doubt that it will keep me warm. What do we think? I mean, I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to wear it or not, but it's not my favorite. Maybe I should have got it in the green, although because it doesn't do anything like for your figure at all, you know, there's no quilting, there's no lines really. That's why I got the black because in a lighter color like the green I was looking at or the gray, it would stand out even more. So this at least blends, but I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. Good morning, it's Thursday. I am up and at them. It is 9.30 and I have an appointment to go to and then I'm going to come home, bake cookies, my um, meeting at work's at four. Probably a couple things I need to get done in between. This is my only day off before I go away and I need to pack. I need to see if there's stuff I need to get, like travel stuff. We're only going one night, but still, that requires some thought. Uh, got that coat, I'm still thinking about it. I don't know. I think it's so warm that you don't need to wear such bulky clothes underneath it, but if it's winter and you're wearing that coat, you probably would be wearing like a big sweater, like even this today, it would probably be too much. Uh, so I'm kind of torn and it just isn't that flattering. I like ones that have like the quilting or like my one from Target, you can cinch it to make it tighter in the waist or looser if you're wearing a bigger bulky sweater or something. So I don't know, we'll see. But I'm having, I'm going with pink today for sure. I need to fluff up my hair. Later on, I'm going to my friend's house too for like a girl's night and I need to, I'd like to curl this before I go to my meeting. But I'm gonna drink some more coffee out of my Starbucks sweater weather cup here and then maybe import some footage so I'm on top of my vlog game. I just went to Starbucks because I only had like two cups of coffee this morning and I usually take my travel mug with me and I went inside instead of going to the drive through one because I'm still part of like the Leaf Raker Society and all those Starbucks groups and they always post cute um, mugs and things. I resisted and didn't buy any mugs because I need a new travel hot mug and they had really cute Valentine's Day stuff. Anyway, I got a Cafe Misto with almond milk and I usually get caramel brulee sauce. They're out of it. Guys, they're like borderline starting to be Dunkin' Donuts where they were out of donuts. Come on, you, you have to have caramel brulee sauce. You have to have coffee, your Starbucks. Like, I don't get it. So I just got like caramel drizzle, but it's not, not the same. <sighs> now we are off to home. Gotta get things done. This day is gonna go by super quickly. So let's go. I ended up going to the dollar store to grab some containers because I have this that I put um, cookies in, but it's just too large and I'm bringing, I'm splitting up the batch. So I ended up getting these. This is super cute, a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And you know, if I don't get it back, I don't really care. So they have a lot of Valentine's stuff out and St. Patrick's Day. And then this is a more durable one that I'm gonna bring to work. And it's Betty Crocker. They have different sizes, only a buck, not a bad deal. They also, I looked in like the book section, they had Ashley Graham's book, Bethany Moda's book, and Low Bosworth, The Lowdown, for a buck. I almost got The Lowdown, but I didn't need it, so I didn't get it. I'm getting better, folks, I really am. Now it's like 1.30. I'm going to curl my hair, make my bed. I washed my sheets earlier. I got some stuff out for traveling and I have an idea of what I'm going to wear, but we'll see. Quarter of my hair done. How's it look? This really just takes way too long, but I have so much hair. So I do underneath, then I do the top. I try to do the back when I'm grabbing one side. So, and then I've learned since so much time passes between when I do this and when I finish, I spray my hairspray in sections. Maybe this is like common knowledge to people, but for someone hair illiterate as myself, 
uh, I learned the hard way because this side would fall way too quickly and then this side would be perfect. I'd spray the hairspray and it would be uneven. So still figuring it out, but not too shabby. This is my full outfit today and this I've had, I wore it on Christmas and I've had it for a few months. It's from Zara and I bought it because Helena, Helena, oh my God, I have hair everywhere, guys. Guys, guys, okay. Uh, because Brooklyn Blonde, that's her name across her blog and Instagram, I think it's Helena. Anyway, she has this, I love it. Sometimes I love it on me, sometimes I don't. I think the tuck definitely helps. And then I'm wearing my William Rass jeans and Mark Fisher booties. But I just spent about 20 minutes in this mirror trying to take an Instagram picture of this outfit. First of all, the pink does not, you can't get this pink on camera accurately. That's first problem. Second problem is this was a terrible spot to put a full length mirror. Yeah, I can see what I look like, but the lighting's terrible because there's a window over here, the closet's over here with the lighting, and there's a terrible shadow. So then I guess I could go in the bathroom, but then that's like the bathroom. So I need a better full length mirror, maybe for that corner or something. But I still have a lot to do here before I go to the, the meeting. I'm just going to ease the tension with some nice cookies. Be back when this doesn't look like that. Bed is made. Cookies are here. It's time to go. Wish me luck. Um, I just got out of my meeting at work. I stopped home. Um, going to my friend's house. And it is not the news we were expecting. Uh, by now I will have told uh, my, all my family. I just went home and told my parents. Um, I'm literally, I'm not usually speechless and I'm speechless. And um, it's not good. Um, a lot of changes about to happen and in a pretty quick amount of time too as if they weren't changing already but um I can't really talk about it because I'm just gonna cry um it's just unreal it's really unbelievable um okay but now I'm gonna go to my friend's house like I said grab more than that of a tissue um, I'm glad I made the cookies for everybody because everybody seemed to enjoy that one little good piece that came out of that meeting. Okay, I have a lot of thinking to do and I have a lot of um, decisions to make, but it's not going to be made today and I have to go to work tomorrow and just put on a... A good face and um yeah that's it good morning it's friday it is about 7 a.m i took a shower and washed my hair so i got a lot to do this morning but i decided to make an acai bowl and it actually came out like a bowl this morning so there it is with banana and coconut and i just did the acai packet matcha powder protein powder and um a little bit of almond milk just a little bit because otherwise it would be too liquidy so this is you hear this you're about to get a huge winter storm heavy snow 12 to 20 inches y'all ready good morning everybody happy Saturday I was editing last night and I'm very aware that I say so um um, just did it then. Whatever, I just filmed this intro once already and I wasn't recording. But I'm aware that I have these things that I say a lot, pausing and transitional into other sentences. And watching yourself back makes you very aware of the things that you say. So I'm going to try and not say so, um, anyways. Just continue on with the sentence. I'm going to try. No... No promises here, and I do try to 
edit some of them out when they're annoying to me because it's another long vlog you're watching if you made it this far congrats but I want to show you I got my car in the garage last night it happened we move sides I'm usually on this side but there's not a lot of room over there because of the shelf so it happened it's in the garage I'm very happy about that because we are getting a ton of snow going to work right now and then by the time I get out, it should be snowing and into tomorrow. And we're hoping that maybe we can get work closed tomorrow because it's not going to be good. Super cold on Monday, too. And we're going into a holiday weekend, but it's going to be a storm. So let's go to work. Good evening. I am home from work, had dinner, and I took a shower and just waiting on this snow to roll in. It's snowing outside a little bit, nothing too crazy. I did use snow mode on my car on the way home just because there was snow on the ground. So now I'm going to upload this footage, finish editing, schedule the upload to go live tomorrow just in case we lose power or something and I'm pretty much done anyway. Tonight, probably just gonna watch some TV and tomorrow I've been tasked with calling the staff and letting them know if we're open, when we open, when they should come in. So that's my duties for tomorrow. We still don't know if we're gonna open tomorrow or not. We'll see. Today was also National Popcorn Day. So I brought home a lot of popcorn. Have to celebrate that for sure. And I also brought home Bunch of Crunch and Sour Patch Kids. Bunch of Crunch are already gone just felt like eating it you know with all these stressful situations I wish I was the type of person that was too stressed to eat oh I can't eat I'm sick to my stomach I can't eat and then I lose like 10 pounds I already feel like I've gained five in the last day so that's not gonna work for me I just have to get back to the gym anywho tonight snow is rolling in we'll see what it brings tomorrow as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, big thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.